Okay, hey guys. So this week I'm gonna be showing you um, just a super quick tool in Maya um, that I've recently found by watching some other tutorials on YouTube and I think will be really awesome to share with you guys. So if you haven't already watched my video on how to create um, text, watch that first um, because we're gonna be using that in this. So what you first just wanna do is um, create a word or um, really just anything uh, that you want to make into your neon sign. So I'm gonna do my name and then that's a pretty good size. Next, what I'm gonna do is you want to um, assign a new material to that. So down here at the bottom is assign new material. And then in this menu, what you want to do is um, just add in a normal AI standard surface. Next, what we're gonna do is um, you wanna drop the emission weight um, or you wanna make the emission weight really high because that's basically like how much light it's giving off. And then I think I'm gonna make mine, I like blue, so maybe I'll make mine like a blue. I like blue a lot, maybe. Um, so you can see it's gonna, it's gonna be blue and then it'll emit some light as well. So um, that's all controlled in um, your AI standard surface uh, attribute editor um, in attribute editor. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is turn off the spec color. So that's this guy, turn him off all the way down. And then you can turn off the weight too. And then you can also turn off the diffuse roughness if it's on, um, mine isn't, so you should be all good. I think you can also turn off the base color. I, we'll see how much it affects it. Um, and then what you wanna do is let's go ahead and make a floor, press R to scale it up. Then you can move it, kind of center it a little bit more. And then on this floor, what we're gonna do is assign a new material to it. Same thing, AI standard surface. And then what you'll do is you'll turn their spec color all the way um, up. So see how those guys are super high? And then you wanna take the, the roughness to like about halfway. Yep, and then um, what we can do is we can duplicate this and then just um, tilt it. So if you do Command D, that duplicates it and then press E and then you can tilt it up so that it is a backdrop. That's good enough. Okay, I'm gonna push it like a little farther back. All right, um, next thing I wanna do is go into Arnold um, and then we're gonna render it out. So it'll take a little bit to render, but right now that's what it's looking like. If you move it, it'll have to re-render it. I think what I want to do is make mine a little bit lighter of a blue so that it ends up looking kind of more like a lightsaber feel where it's like white. Um, so you can just change that again in emission, just turn your color down. And then what you can also do is um, change your um, um, diffuse roughness if you need to. You don't. You shouldn't have to. That would be more like for something for the backgrounds. Is change it. Um, what you could also do is I think there's a place to change the um, the like reflectivity of it. Um, this guy right here. So see when we push it down a lot, it becomes really um, rough in the background. And when we push it up to a higher value, it's a little more, um, you know, light. So I'm gonna probably put mine like right there. And then I'm gonna drop the diffuse. Yeah. And then um, you can do all sorts of other things. If you want it to be really high, like if you don't want such a dark background, I prefer a dark background, you just change the weight. Um, you can also drop your emission color to be completely black. And then, you know, it'll take a little while to render out, but that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's basically just how to make a super simple neon sign. I think it's super fun. Um, if you want it to emit more light, you just have to 
um, put your weight really high. So now it's a little bit more of a white light um, instead of, you know, a bluer light. But that is, again, totally up to you. Um, I think that's looking pretty good. I'm going to move it up just a little bit. And then I might even have it reflect off of the ground a little bit more. We'll see. Um, totally feel free to play around with it. It's a really, really cool tool. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions on it, let me know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this render out. You let yours render out and um, show me how yours uh, ended up looking in the end. Something that you also want to do is um, go to your render settings, which should be in Windows, render, uh, Rendering Editors, and then Render Settings. And then um, you can set um, the camera. Let's see, I think that's in... Yep, go to Arnold Render and set the camera to five and then set your ray depth to five as well. So ray depth is down here, set your total to five. Um, that way it'll um, emit a little bit more light and the camera will let in a little bit more. So yeah, now we're getting a nice little reflection on the ground here as you can see. Um, but yeah, go ahead and play with it as much as you want. I'm pretty excited for how it's looking. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what you guys came up with. So this also works Like let's say you made like a shape or something and you wanted that to be the shape of a neon sign You can do the same exact steps. It does not have to be on text It's all just about assigning this specific texture to it. So totally up to you um, But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know what we're doing next time, but You'll see a video come out uh, in four-ish days, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!